Yo, what up guys? Vlog time. Oh my god, it's been a while. I'm sorry. A lot of you guys uh, request a vlog. Um, I actually haven't been to the outlets in a little bit. I, I went maybe like twice in the past like many, many months. Uh, just because, you know, just because of COVID and stuff. And uh, I got a new rig and this camera is pretty heavy. My arm is already tired. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about how I film, what equipment I use. A lot of you guys uh, ask me. So um, yeah, in this video, we're gonna be covering that. And uh, I guess just to start, we're in my room right now. And uh, I guess the color temperature is a little bit warm, but I do have my iMac. This is my iMac right here. I got it a long time ago, 2016. Funny story though, it's that um, I was, oh, when I first started YouTube, uh, I had a, an Ultrabook. I think it was an Asus Ultrabook. And when, when I started, you know, I didn't really know anything about like camera equipment or audio equipment, even like editing or computer stuff. So I was editing off Premiere on an Ultrabook, which took like two hours to export a video. <laughs> so I did that for, I don't know how long, maybe like a year. Um, and then I saved up money, you know, um, I was working a job there and going to school full time. And then... Once I got enough money, I got this iMac. So this iMac is very old. It's like five, six years old. Um, it's, I, I think it was pretty top of the line specs when I got it. It's, it's not very nice anymore, of course, as far as specs goes, especially comparing to the new uh, MacBook Pro, right? But anyways, that's my baby. Uh, I've had it for so long. So anyways, that's my iMac and I, well, my TV is right there as well. And I have a second monitor and then this is a gaming monitor right here. This is where I game. And I don't know if you guys can see, this is my, I kind of like stream off of here as well sometimes. Not really, I don't really stream anymore, but I have a blue Yeti microphone right there. And of course, as far as my keyboard goes, um, I have a, I forget what this is, this is a Steel Series. Um, I forget what the keyboard's called, but it's a mechanical keyboard. So there is my computer setup. I use Premiere Pro if you guys are wondering and I've been using Premiere Pro and as far as like the thumbnails and everything, I use Photoshop, pretty pretty standard and if I'm like editing a photo for Instagram or something, I use Lightroom or Photoshop, you know, pretty standard stuff. And what I'm filming off of right now is a, well I just got this camera, it's the A7C. And uh, I've been waiting to get this camera. Actually, funny thing is, um, my first ever camera that I started, uh, the lighting's terrible here, but this is my first ever camera right here, right? This is the Sony A5000, I believe. Yeah, this is the A5000? Yeah, it's A5000, it says right here, A5000. And um, <laughs> you guys go way, way back on the channel. Um, yeah, this is what I was shooting with, audio included. I didn't know anything about audio equipment and stuff, so I, I would shoot on this. It has a little flip-up camera too, so I would be able to see myself, right? It flips up like this, and I'll be like, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> so uh, that was back in uh, the old apartment. And uh, so this is, what, this is my first camera. And this also was the dedicated vlog camera for a little bit, uh, until, of course, like, COVID happened and all that. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting on the A7C with a Sigma 24 to 70, I feel, I feel like, yeah, 24 to 70 Sigma art lens, and the microphone is just, it's just a Rode microphone, uh, it's, it's just on top, you know, it's a condenser, I, I believe it's a shotgun or condenser microphone uh, that's connected directly to this camera, which I really like this setup, you know, it's a, it's nice and crisp, it's just heavy, it's really heavy, my hand, I don't know, I'm sorry if I'm shaking guys, um, but anyways, that's my room, and uh, here is my kind of like, I guess a little bit of a room tour, you guys remember the Pure Boost? <laughs> the original Pure Boost guys, oh my god, this, I remember when this came out, and then uh, it has full length boost, and we're like, yo, like boost was never in anything, so uh, we're like, yeah, dude, this is so, it's really, it's still really comfortable. There's a lot of compression and um, yeah, this is just a throwback. Oh my gosh. Can you guys believe it? Um, I, I feel like I started the channel in like 2015 or something like that, 2016. So it's been around five, six years. Um, and this is one of the original shoes. All right. And also this is kind of like the end of my room. And I don't know if you guys know, uh, I don't know if you guys think this looks familiar, but this is where I used to film. 
So um, back when I had a roommate, uh, my roommate moved out and stuff. I would film here, so I ha I'd have to set everything up, you know, uh, put the camera here in the middle, actually right where the camera is right now. And then uh, I set up all the lights. And of course the shoe thing was here too, the, the shoe drawer thing with the lights. Uh, not anymore, I just, I moved all of that into the studio, which I'll show you guys in a second. But yeah, just a little throwback, I guess. You know, um, also uh, on these, Right here, I just keep shoes that uh, I either I like a lot or um, that I'm testing over here in these right here. So I'm testing, hint, hint, uh, the Fly by Mid 3, I believe it was. 65 bucks from Nike. It's a budget shoe and um, I've been playing in it for a little bit and it's actually quite nice. So spoiler alert. And also just to the left of that, I just recently bought a piano. So um, I've always wanted to learn a piano and I guess my New Year's resolution was to, I guess, learn piano. So I've been learning piano. It's pretty hard. Piano is, I feel like, one of the hardest instruments to learn just because the coordination you need and all that. Anyways, so there's the piano. I have my guitar right there as well. I play music if you guys didn't know, so yeah. All right, so now I'm in the studio. Um, it's, I'll show you guys. Boom, boom, boom. And this looks kind of familiar, right? And there actually there's a closet right there with the uh, mirrors, right? Boom. So here is the backdrop. So I have like a little backdrop here. I have a lot of colors. I have white, I got blue. Oh, it's focusing. Doesn't like to focus on the black. I don't know why it's not focusing on the, the black backdrop. That's kind of weird. Anyways, um, so I got black, blue, white, and also green. So uh, sometimes I do the green screen. So I uh, try to, actually fun fact, I put the shoes here, here it is. I get like a shoe, right? And then I have like a string sometimes. Uh, I couldn't really do it with the Kyrie's obviously, but I have a string and I put it on this. It's a mic stand and I spin it around in front of the green screen. So you guys can get like a cool like little, uh, I believe I did it for like LeBron 19 and stuff. But sometimes I can't obviously because like the Kyrie 8, it doesn't have it. Um, but anyways, yeah, so here's the studio and uh, here are all the lights. So this I got from Amazon for really cheap. Actually, this is like one of the first lights that I got many, many years ago. It uses light bulbs. So it's, uh, yeah, super cheap. I still use it. I don't know why, but it, it diffuses light really well, you know, so it has a nice soft light. And I just got these pretty recently. Um, I believe they're from GVM or something like that. And uh, they're actually LED. Um, but I didn't like the diffusion on this, right? I don't know, the, the, the light is still pretty harsh on this. So I just put a paper towel over it and uh, it's super cheap, I know, <laughs> but it works. Um, and yeah, it's really cool. Uh, I like it because you can adjust the light uh, temperature here with this, with this knob and also the how bright it is, right? You guys can see the numbers right there. And also you can change, if you press this, you can change it uh, into a different color, which is really cool. You can change it with this knob. So I'm gonna be playing with that a little bit. But yeah, so I have two of those. I got one right here, and I got another one right there, which is not on. And also, as far as cameras go, I, oh, it's hot. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm sweating. Um, ah, dude, yeah, you guys have no idea how heavy this freaking camera is. Oh, my arm is, oh, my arm's about to die. But well, anyways, yeah, so this is the Canon 5D. Um, let's try to, boom. That's, that's actually the second camera that I got. This is the 5D Mark II, I believe, with a Rokinon 35mm uh, f1.5. And I used that for a long time as, as far as like the main camera goes. And uh, I used it actually up until like a couple weeks ago. And now I'm using my old main camera. So this is the camera that I use now to film me. Right, so this is the A7S II, uh, but this is the Tamron 20 to 75 uh, f 2.8 lens. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Whew, it's hot. It's with the, all these lights and stuff. And I'm, I'm still I'm getting an arm workout right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the main camera that I'm using. And as far as like uh, uh, picture profiles go, I don't know if you guys know what that is. I tried using S-Log2 and S-Log3 for a little bit, but then like there's a lot of noise. No matter how I try to grade it, there's too much noise. So I just use Cine 4 
And um, also, let me show you the new camera. I don't know how I'll show you guys the new camera. I guess on the mirror, look. All right, so can you guys see it? That's the new rig. It doesn't look like much, but it's freaking heavy. And uh, I also really like it because I can use it as a vlog camera so I can see myself. And there's the mic right there. And um, yeah, so this is the new camera right here, the A7C. And um, this is the camera that I'm using to kind of shoot the shoes, right? So usually I just get the shoe, right? And then I just put it right here. And then I film it with all the lights and stuff. And that's pretty much it. Um, and as far as audio equipment, audio equipment, of course, is important. You don't want to have, oh, I'm like sweating right now. Uh, you don't want to have like bad audio, I guess, when you're doing YouTube. I mean, honestly, when if, you're, if you want to become a YouTuber or a content, content creator, you just kind of have to make do with what you have and just make, try to make the best of what you have, honestly, and just do your best, you know? Um, but uh, audio, of course, is just as important as video, in my opinion. And this is my audio setup right now. So I'm using the Zoom H6. Sorry, it's a little dark. Uh, it's a Zoom H6 and it's connected to the Deity. Uh, I believe this is the Deity. I don't remember what it is. Oh yeah, so it's a Deity D3 Pro. It's just a uh, shotgun microphone. And um, it's it's really cool because like I literally focus. Hello, focus. There we go. Um, it's really cool because like I, I just have this microphone pole and it's literally right here. <laughs> when I'm talking, it's just right above the ca the camera, so you can't really see it. So the, the the mic would be right here, and very close to my uh, mouth or my face, and then the camera will just cut it off like that, just so you can't see it. And uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, here's Reina. Reina, here's Reina. She's following me around. Help. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, she's just following me around. I don't know if you guys can hear. Her. And she wants to uh, get on my lap. Um, but anyways, yeah. And also, here's my gym bag. My gym bag is right here. I use the private, the private label bag. This has been my gym bag forever. I love this bag. It's just super nice quality. And also, another thing that I've been using a lot is water shoes. No, it's not water shoes. It's uh, barefoot shoes. Um, I'm actually on uh, my, I don't know, I'm getting old or something. And when, when I work out or play ball uh, my feet hurt you know and like you know my ankle my tendons and stuff so i'm just trying to strengthen everything up and i heard that this will help a lot you know so uh and also when i'm walking around in the house i have hardwood floors so i <laughs> i use crocs and crocs aren't super comfortable as far as like cushion goes which is a good thing because i'm trying to wear shoes that don't have a lot of cushion just to strengthen my like my tendons you know in my foot and whatnot and um but it's super nice just because it's like a slide slash shoe crossover thing so i can put it on like a slide but it has something over my toes a little bit so my feet don't get as cold especially now that it's the winter time and uh, i don't know if you guys know i use as far as a basketball goes i use this this is a season creator right here um and it's all red. Everyone always asks me about this ball. Uh, I don't know why people think it's not a nice ball until they actually play with it. They're like, what is that? You know, it's like all red, it's weird. Um, I don't know why the color of a basketball is just orange. You know what I mean? That's like the original color or whatever. And that's just what the basketball color has been forever, right? And I don't know, just all red. I know when it's my ball because it's just all red, it stands out. It's like, give me my ball, <laughs> you know? Because like sometimes when you go to the gym, there's a lot of people, people just use your ball or whatnot without even asking. And you're like, what the heck, you know? And then you're like, can I get my ball back? It's kind of weird, you know? Because you got to check if it's your ball. If you get if you get the season creators, like whatever color, you're just like, that's my ball, let's go. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, that's, that's the ball I've been using for like a couple years now. And as far as like my rotating shoe shots, um, I just got it right now. And this is what I use basically. So it's just a black acrylic right here. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm shaking. This, this is so heavy. And I have a Lazy Susan. So it's electronically powered. So it's a Lazy Susan. It just spins around like this. It's electronically powered. It's not It's not connected right now. But uh, it just spins around like this. And I have the shiny black acrylic. Right? So you just put it on there. If it would center. And then, you know, you get your shoe or whatever. And then it kind of like spins around. 
You can get some pretty cool shots with this. Now I took some pretty cool pictures of this in like the WoW 9 Infinity. And um, yeah, I, I really like this style. I don't know why. And also, um, as far as lighting goes, you know, I like to have a light pretty much right on top just to make it super dramatic, you know? So you have this light that hits right here and you can see all the texture just because if I have a light coming from here, like straight on, you don't really see the textures, right? So if you have like another light kind of behind it, hitting it right here and on top, it just looks a little bit more dramatic. It looks a little bit cooler, uh, at least in my opinion. So that's just what I do. So um, yeah, that's kind of like how we get shots and uh, it's how I shoot videos, I guess. If you guys have any other questions, um, hit me up on Instagram. And, uh, you know, of course, I'm always open on Instagram if you guys want to, I, I don't know about like having a full on conversation, but if you guys have any questions, just be like, hey, what's how do you do this? Or what shoe do you like better or whatever, then hit me up on Instagram. I try to answer everyone. Hmm. Like I try to, there's a lot of DMs. So anyways, that about wraps it up for this vlog. Uh, it was actually nice. It was kind of nice doing a vlog. Has It's been a while. Oh, if you guys want to see some, yeah, the lighting is pretty bad. You gotta double check. I'm getting fat, dude. Um, but anyways, yeah, so here, I don't know, I'm, I just have like the KD-14s and I, just, I don't really have a whole lot of space anymore. <laughs> and as far as like the shoes here in the, this, these black boxes, these are all pretty much like my Nike IDs. And there's my, my most recent one, the KD-14, the yellow one. And then here are the, the shoe boxes, the drawer, the shoe, shoe, it's not a drawer, cabinet? shoe cabinet i don't know um but yeah so i got kind of like casual shoes running shoes there and kind of also ca casual shoes as well like my jordans and then um these shoes are kind of like to play in like the kobe 5 chaos and stuff so anyways that about wraps it up for this video i'm sweating and um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one